the, the Battle of the Batons is coming up. Is it, is it called it's, the Battle of the Batons again? It is called the Battle of the Batons because what else can you call it? So it's this thing that uh, was carried over from the, the previous incarnation of the, the we, musical club. We reckon we haven't had one of these in Colorado Springs for about 20 years. It was the, the symphony, the Colorado Springs Symphony, the, mm-hmm. yes. the, the thing that used to exist here right. for music people. Right. Mm-hmm. Then it turned into the Philharmonic after the symphony uh, went bankrupt. Yeah, thank you for mentioning that. Do you remember, uh, well, you weren't, you weren't around, but no. the symphony, the it, well, it just all imploded, everything went mm-hmm. to hell. You know, uh, then the Phil- Philharmonic, you know, rose like a, some sort of phoenix. It, exactly, exactly. A some great tenacity was at work for that. So it's, it's wonderful. And now, out of that uh, very grave buried uh, mm-hmm. with the symphony, uh, the Battle of the Batons is being resurrected. Right. What, yeah. what was the, the thought process behind, uh, behind doing that? Well, you know, we, um, we, we were looking, we had a space in the schedule for this year, and we were, we were looking for, uh, for just the right fit. And we had an awful lot of serious programming uh, and we, we had an opportunity to do something really farcical and funny and, uh, and, to, and to feature some of those people who are leading the community. So, uh, so we're taking these, these, the pinnacles of our society, the, the paragons of, of, our, of our community, and uh, we're, giving them, uh, we're giving them a conductor's baton and almost no training at all. It's and interesting, And asking though. them to go conduct the orchestra. It is, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful idea. You <laughs> mentioned the... Uh, the kind of paragons or the, the scions of, uh, of of the community, mm. and right. I don't I don't remember getting getting an invitation. Um, yeah, we must have lost the address. It was weird, so, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you think of who's the you know the the most powerful person, the mm-hmm. you know the the motive the voice most, behind yes. Colorado Springs, and invariably the response is Mr. Craig Richardson. In, invariably, uh, well, next year, and, next and year, yet, we'll and yet, yeah, figure it out next year. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what uh we have this video of uh one of these things from like 1989 i think and uh it is it's the craziest damn thing i've i think i've ever seen it is it is classic and it is uh it's it's just uh it's just heaven sent because we we didn't know this video was out there until we got it from uh, miss vicky diamond who was the host back in 19 was it 1989 it was 19, 1989 yeah yeah 1989 vicky was the host and she happened to have this on vhs in the back of her collection and ju- and handed it off to us it's fantastic good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the battle of the batons i think each of us at one time or another has sat in a seat here in the pikes peak center watching the conductor majestically lift his baton to and fro in splendid performance And as he concludes his performance, we've looked at the person next to us and commented, I can't believe he gets paid for that. Why, a trained chimpanzee could do that. Why, I could do that in my sleep. Well, tonight, eight individuals from various sectors of our community are going to be given the opportunity to do just that. The thing that comes across is just the spirit of, uh, they, were, they were having a hell of a lot of fun with it. They were having an awful lot of fun with it. And, you know, that, that's, that's the same spirit we're approaching this one with. And I think our, our celebrity conductors are, uh, are bringing to it uh, something really special this year. So we're excited. Do you think people will, I mean, you know, there was a lot of steam that kind of w- was behind that, uh, that mm-hmm. 1989 one. I mean, do you think uh, people can expect to see uh, as uproarious and uh, perhaps absurd uh, spectacle is, is was that exemplified in 1989? Not perhaps absurd. The most absurd thing you've seen all year, I think, is what you can expect. Um, it is. Uh, we, we've got our. Is it nine celebrity conductors um, all lined up for this, and they're doing m- masterworks. Um, we've got Rossini's William Tell Overture. We've got Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries. Uh, we've, but we've also got uh, some other farcical works that uh, that will just uh, really delight the audience and. Uh, 
tell get us them who's, turned on. Tell us some of the names, some of the names that people might recognize uh, that they mm-hmm. might be able to go down and see uh, conducting uh, our, our favorite right, Philharmonic. Right, right. We've got uh, Phil Lane. We've got John Street, who's our board chair. Um, Phil Lane is, of course, from Operation 6035. We've got Margaret Sabin, who's president of uh, the Penrose St. Francis Health Service. Um, we've got uh, Lisa Lydon, who's anchor on News First Five. And she appeared uh, as an introducer. Oh, she was in an the introducer in the end. She must wow. have been like, what, t- t- 12 I th- years I old, 13 years old? I think she was probably 13 and a half in that in that in that video uh, and and so we're excited to have her have her back we've got david dalin who is one of the executive vice presidents at compassion international he'll be participating on this we've got mallory hibble young mallory hibble the uh the actress here in town uh if i had to if i had to say who my favorite is i think that she is going to sweep uh sweep the 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 um the wipe list. the floor she's gonna wipe the floor, the floor. with Thank the other you. contestants yes She's or, or sweep. What, sweep the floor with the other <laughs> something like that. And then our trio, this this is one that I'm looking forward to. Birgitta Dupree from Manitou Art Theater will be there. And we'll have Amanda She's everyone's Mountain. favorite, Birgitta Dupree. Birgitta Dupree is the funniest person I think I've ever seen on stage. I love her, yeah. Yes, she is. And although um, Babette may have something to say about her her uh, participation. So we'll, right. s- we'll see who actually shows up. <laughs> uh, and then Amanda Mountain. Um, I've n- I never know. heard of her, uh, it, but uh, also uh, Susan Edmondson from oh, the B. Right. Weidenberg Foundation. Right. They, those three will will conduct together one infamous piece of music um, that will be. Uh, and a little birdie told me that uh, they drew some inspiration from something back in the 1989 uh, presentation. They did. They did. And should we even say what it is that they're conducting? I think it's a surprise what they're conducting. But it but it, it combines uh, it, it combines one of our favorite composers, Beethoven. Right. With uh, with one with with a style of music that was prevalent in the 1970s, and uh, was also also on uh, nice. the movie Saturday Night Fever. Never heard of any of this. This was yes, right. I was born in '87. I was born in 1987. <laughs> right. So yep. mm-hmm. I don't yep. know a lot about what you're talking about, <laughs> but it will be exciting. It will be exciting. And there will be much uh, frivolity and uh, and excitement, and of course they're they're competing for a, a grand prize trophy. That was just uh, I, I just received it um, from the vault a few days ago, and uh, it's it, it's it's just as glorious as it ever was. And it's, was this, it's, is this the same trophy? It's 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 not the same trophy, but we'll consider it the same trophy right. um, it, for this for this purpose. We're uh, we're dubbing it the Battle of the Batons Grand Prize Trophy. And is it it's just horrible, right? It's 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 the most disgusting thing you've ever seen. It's it it will it will. Um, it will block the view of anything else in your trophy chest, although yours is, uh, I'm sure, monumental. Your trophy cabinet. Well, I've amassed a certain, uh, you know, uh, collection of trophies. Right. And, uh, right. Pike's Peakian. Right. <laughs> Pike's Peakian. Yeah. Right. Monolithian. Right. right.